What up, Ace Vac people? Putting a vacuum on a recovery tank. But when you get the recovery tank, you want to be careful um, from mixing gases. You don't want to mix, let's say, R22 with 410. So I usually uh, get these stickers and put it on there. Let me know it's 410A. And uh, pull the vacuum on it. Let me show you. I got a bunch of them that I use to pull the vacuum on. Uh, tags. Let me see. Not very expensive, but I got a pack of for R22 and a pack for 410A. I use this uh, stick these on my recovery tank. Got them from Century Supply. Like I said, I, some uh, parts of those uh, exchange a recovery tank. I think they give you a credit for it if it's full. But sometimes when I use it, I just I like to reuse it instead of taking it back. So I just pull it back and I got both of these wide open, my gas side and my liquid side. Got both of them wide open. And it don't really matter what side you got it on because you just got the whole tank wide open. And you use this going straight to my vacuum. Need to change the oil out on it, but <clears throat> if I pull a vacuum on the system, I'll go ahead and change the oil out. But, like I said, I just pull a vacuum on this probably maybe about uh, 30 minutes. And uh, while I got my vacuum still running, I just shut the valves off. So, next time I'm recovering with that vacuum in here, it's going to suck that Freon, that uh, refrigerant, right in there. I don't have a micron gauge hooked up. I shouldn't have a leak in here, but sometimes they do leak. But I'm just gonna pull it down to 30. And uh, it'll take about, about 30 minutes. The axe is already almost down. I just started pulling it about five minutes ago. So, that's how I pull vacuum on a recovery tank. Peace out, HVAC people, grind time. We own it.